Yuan Racy isn't exactly a household name, yet his trumpet playing may have been heard by more people than almost any other trumpet player in history. Yuan Racy was known to musicians, arrangers, and composers as one of the best trumpet players in the business. He was a studio musician. He played his first movie at Warner Brothers in 1940. In 1949, he became principal trumpet with the MGM Studio Orchestra. Despite living life with polio since being a young child and being legally blind in his senior years, Yuan Racy has one of the most positive attitudes and is one of the most inspirational teachers anyone could ever hope to meet. Left to right, Malcolm McNabb, one of the top studio trumpet players in the world. In the center is Arturo Sandoval, and on the right, Yuan Racy. Here's a classic photo of Los Angeles heavyweight studio trumpet players. On the left, famed high note player Bud Brisboy with the white top holding the trumpet, Pete Condoli playing around with Yuan's crutch, Frank Beach standing in the back, Chuck Finley. On the far right with the trumpet, Ray Triscary. The bottom left in the front is legendary arranger, trumpet player, band leader, Billy May. And in the center with the glasses and the smile, Yuan Racy. Here's a young Yuan Racy with his trumpet. Today is um, May, May 30th, 30, 30, 2008, yeah. and uh -huh. we're at the home of Yuan Racy. Right. So, so Yuan, why don't we start, why don't you tell me a little bit about your career? Well, uh, I was a studio player, a studio sausage for about 40 years, 50 years. Yeah. Well, I did radio though from 1941 through uh, 1948, and then I went, uh, went to MGM in 1949, played all the studios then for till 85, you know, 1985. I quit when I was, uh, well, I did a couple movies later on with a couple, a couple of people, uh, oh, until 90, 93, that's the last movie I think I did. Uh, that was enough work for a while. So when you were working in the studios, um, how, how did you work five days a week, six days a week? It depends on different movies. You know, I was lucky because I was, I fooled a lot of people, so I was in demand. So they'd wait for a picture for me at times. And actually, they, I didn't realize, but way back in 1946, 47, I was being auditioned to play first trumpet at MGM, and then finally they asked me to come out and sign a contract, and I didn't want to do it because I'm, I'm a track and field nut. I went to the Olympics in 1948. I, I knew that they wouldn't let me off in 1952, so I, I quit there different three times. I just walked out, and the fourth time they said, "Okay, we'll give you two weeks, 1952, if you sign a contract." So they fired Ralph Mendez and hired me in 1949 at MGM. 